what is a pyros? In today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 tips for making firework stars. Let's go! So, as I'm filming this video, I suggest you to film your star test so you can see the full effect sometimes. I also miss out the effect seeing it by just my eyes, but when I see it on the camera it looks totally different. It really helps to see how a star performs in the air. So that's the first tip. So, second tip from me is to keep your flower pots, used flower pots, as you can see here. These are all used. It's important they have thick walls so they do not get worn out that quickly. So you can have safe launching even with used tubes like these ones. I have plenty more that survived and I keep them for quick tests. So you don't have to roll and wait them to dry. So that's the second tip. Next tip is to keep your cutter for the cut stars clean on the edge so it cuts clean stars so it can just slide the stars composition. If you're using maybe knife also keep it clean even though it's very sharp it tends to actually rip the composition when it's wet. This tip is simple to do but helps a lot. As you can see I'm cleaning the edge of the cutter so it cuts clean. So that's a quick tip but useful. So my next tip for you is to start making stars with your homemade tools or tools like this one you can find anywhere at home. By the way this is reinforcement for the syringe so it doesn't break here. This is my corset making tool. I do not use it that much but it learned me a lot about corset making process and I have plenty more homemade tools that I use to make not just stars but much more in fireworking. So for example this syringe is very useful when you need to test your stars you just scoop up the mixture and then pump some comets about this tool you can check out on this pop-up card here where I make some corsets and also talk about how I made it that's for that tip my next tip for you is to not put too many stars in your star gun or flower pot because they won't ignite I have made that mistake so many times and I learned my way of doing it for example if you have these comets these tubes are definitely not suitable for this size of comets but I'm just showing you an example you put your lift charge then you put your stars for example imagine these are tiny round stars and you put plenty of them for example that much those on the bottom obviously are gonna be lit and those will push once on the top and without igniting them at all so you'll have blind stars so that's a quick tip one extra tip is to use proper diameter tubings for your tests so the stars fly as far as they can so my next tip for you is to test your stars properly not all stars show the full effect when they are tested or burnt on the ground sometimes you just need to fire them from the flower pot so when they catch air they burn even brighter and even more so you can see the full effect not only on the ground if you burn them on the ground sometimes they need more air blown towards them so they can work and show the full effect so that's it for this tip i don't know if you can hear me but my next tip for you is to clean up your tools Well, that's not clean up. Never mind. Next tip. My next tip is to not dry your stars on this paper towel or paper. Dry them on a tray or on strainer. So that's a tip. My next tip is if you have over wet your firework star composition, never suck out the moisture with this paper towel. It can suck out with the moisture some of your components of the composition. I think that is possible. I'm not 100% sure, but you'll be the judge. That's also the case when you're drying your stars. So use a tray or a strainer. On to the next tip. I will clean this thing when I get finished with these stars. So, my next tip for you guys is this. This is not my invention. I saw it on the internet, but it's really good. If you want to sort out some round stars, you just drill a hole through the bucket. You can pick different drill bits and just make different sorting sizes of the buckets. I have only one. I may build more. 
it's good to have more. First I'll sort the smallest ones, then the middle size and the larger ones at the end. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed these tips and I hope these were helpful to some of you guys. See you in the next one.